All right, uh, good day everyone. I'm gonna show you uh, something about the uh, mirror link today. This is a uh, 2017 Subaru Forester. So I just uh, in the manual it actually says uh, mirror link is uh, available, uh, but it's uh, only got two very simple pages, uh, and uh, hope that uh, you figure it out on your own. So then uh, wasn't very helpful. So I uh, just uh, created this video and uh, see if. Uh, it helps you out in the future. Um, this is uh, a uh, HTC M8 that I just bought over eBay for like about 50 bucks today. And uh, it's very uh, simple, just a stock firmware, nothing fancy. I reset it to stock, bought it with a broken screen. Uh, you don't need to see on the screen, so why bother? So what's gonna happen is that uh, if you plug it in to, with the USB cable, I'm gonna do it right now, just uh, bear with me. Okay, so as soon as you plug it in, uh, if you go to the system menu, it actually After tell you meters, that turn right, mirror link connected, mirror link right. connection. That's when you know the mirror link is working. And uh, what's, what you need to do next is to install a couple mirror link compatible apps. Without the compatible apps, it doesn't do anything. Uh, one of them we found, Sigic Car Navigation, Mi Roma, LPO. So once you do that, um, just have it installed. You don't need to do anything else. So come here, you hit apps, mirror link lights up, hit it. Uh, so it's my premium uh, Sigic uh, app. It's gonna expire in four days, which is why I'm in a hurry to make this video. So dismiss it. And you see that uh, if you launch uh, Sigic, it will come up as a uh, your GPS app. If you go to the app list, that's OPL, Mi Roma, Sigic Car, Navi. Uh, if you go to uh, mirroring.com, you'll see more compatible apps. And uh, check your screen format. Uh, you can have it on the normal. So when you go back, it will come, uh, look a little different. Uh, go to apps. I normally use stretch, it's look better for me. So mirror link, you go back to home, it doesn't do anything. So it still look like this. It actually mirror what the screen is uh, on your M8. And we hit back. Hit exit. So your M8 actually show your full, um, regular screen, but your on your car it actually doesn't do anything. So it has um, it only show the apps that are compatible, either because of safety, license, whatever it is. But uh, that severely limits what you can do with Mirror Link, and that's with the HTC M8. Uh, there are others um, on the internet. There is a um, hacked software for um, Galaxy S3, S4, and Note 2, and supposedly they could uh, quit out the app and uh, do a full mirroring so you can use uh, your favorite GPS like Waze, anything like that. But I don't have one yet, so maybe I can figure it out later. So this is how it works uh, in uh, the Citrix Navi. It, um, the premium expires in four days, so if you want to keep using it, it's going to cost you uh, about $80. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'll keep using it, just uh, want to make a video here today to show you how it works. Uh, the screen actually, uh, if you keep using it, it's going to be a little lag, uh, it's going to have a little laggy when I uh, last use it. Uh, it's a very standard uh, Garmin type of uh, navigation system, and uh, to be honest, I don't see a good value with it. So, um, that's my, my video for the mirror link on the Subaru Forester. Alright, um, if you have any comments, chime in below. I try to answer as much as I can. And have a good day.